quick make there. Yeah, that has an L shape. It just clips onto the back for a serial ATA connection. And let me make sure that I hook these up appropriately. So in this case, that's power, and then this is the data. I just had to disconnect it to remove it. Let me just run this up here. Same thing, get this, get this connected, maybe easier. hook these up first and then slide it in and pull it through just kind of depends on how much space you have to work with but in this case I don't have a lot of space there's so many drives and things connected to this machine but if I do this and have that up there then I can just slide this through everything back in the case and I've got the new power supply and everything's hooked up. Again, make sure that your serial ATA connectors are connected if they're SATA or if it's IDE. I have an, you know, an IDE cable behind this gaggle here and I've tried to tie these up but there's not a lot of space in this case. You just want to keep it away from the cooling fans and you want to try to get, you know, allow as much uh, open air in there as possible for proper cooling. Um, you know, hooked up my serial ATA connectors. These are my Molex connectors hooked into my hard drive. And let's go ahead and boot it up and make sure everything is booted. So I'll just turn it on. And now we're getting a video signal. On and there you go. So new power supply, 650 watt. And now I have a, a working computer once again. Easy problem to fix and something that can keep your computer running for years to come. Don't forget to touch the chassis of the computer while it's grounded, but the power supply is switched off, or to wear a grounding wrist strap to avoid electrostatically damaging components in your computer.